First, to get the grip ready, we extend the feet and screw on the top half. Get the gimbal out of the box and insert it directly at the top. Don't forget to tighten the lock. Get the gimbal in the normal position by opening the axis locks. Remove the top bar so that we can insert the camera. Make sure there's enough space between the camera and the gimbal. Again, don't forget to lock it in place. Add the top bar and make sure you line up the secure knob correctly with the camera. Get the power cable from the camera and connect it into the power box at the bottom. Make sure the cables are stowed in place so they don't touch the gimbal. For SDI, get the curly cable and connect it to the SDI out one and the gimbal. Before balancing the Ronin, make sure that all required accessories are mounted. The lens cap should also be dismounted. Be sure the three axes are locked. Start by unlocking the tilt axis to tilt the camera with the lens pointing up. Loosen the levers on the sides of the camera's fixing frame. Use the knobs at the bottom to adjust the vertical tilt balance and be careful that the tick marks on both sides match up. When balancing, it is important to work with millimeter precision. The camera should now stay balanced without tilting up or down. Tighten the levers. Rotate the camera looking forward. Unlock the lever at the back and loosen the top securing knob on the top of the camera's fixing frame. Then use the knob underneath the camera to adjust the balance. The camera should now stay steady at any angle. Lock the back lever and tighten the securing knob. Lock the tilt axis. Let's unlock the roll axis and check which direction the camera leans to. Loosen the top securing knob and unlock the back lever. Use the knob on the bottom of the camera's fixing frame to slide the camera to the left and right. The camera should now remain still when rotating. Tighten the securing knob and close the back lever. Lock the roll axis. Let's unlock the pen axis. Lift one side of the grip and check which direction the roaning is leaning. Loosen the pen axis lever and adjust the knob to move the camera backwards or forwards. When lifting one side of the grip, the camera should now remain still in each position. Tighten the lever and lock the pen axis. Now the Ronin is balanced. Attach the battery mount to the gimbal. Get the camera image displayed on the monitor by connecting the SDI output of the Ronin to the SDI input of the Atomos. You can use the Ronin batteries to run the monitor over the power port. 
When wiring, make sure that the gimbal is not blocked in the movement. The batteries are hot swappable, which means that a battery can be replaced by a fully charged one while the Ronin is running. Make sure to unlock each axis before powering on the Ronin 2. The green LED next to the on-off button indicates that the remote control is connected to the Ronin. With the joystick you control the pan and tilt axis. The three upper control knobs are used for the speed at which the Ronin should move. With the roll knob above the joystick, you control the roll axis. With the centering mode, the Ronin aligns itself to its starting point. Switch to handheld mode. The average case needs smooth track movement. In the menu you can adjust the angle movement range of the different axes. The monitoring function shows you the load of the gimbal motors. If you see low numbers, your gimbal is well balanced. Open the Armament 2 case and take out the West. You can use the C-Stand arm. Open the chest clasp. Dress the West and close the clasp. Make sure that the strap is tightened. Now place the hip pads. Use the lever at the back of the West to adjust the height. Make sure that everything is tight, especially the hip support, as it carries the weight. Take out the support arms. Notice the sign on each arm to know the right side. Push in the pin in line with a hole and hear it click. Rest the arms down on the support cables. Slide in the adjustable support cups and lock the screw. The position should fit with your arm length. The armor man is now in off position. To activate the support arms, rise your arms above your head and hear it click. Do not lose the arms loose. To deactivate the armor man, drag the release cable and rest the loose arm on the support cable. There are two knobs to control and adjust the tension of the spring. Try out what's the most comfortable. It varies by person. Screw off the gimbal support ring and mount the gimbal on the support cups of the armor man.